Alright, so you want to learn how to become a graphic designer. You maybe want to learn how to make mixtape covers. Well, the first thing that everybody wants to learn and everybody asks is, bro, how to cut people out. So let's jump on the computer. Alright, and so we are starting out in Photoshop. If you watched any of my tutorials before, you know that I always recommend using Photoshop as far as your graphic design photo editing foundation when it comes to graphic design, right? So today is a lot easier than it used to be simply because a lot of things have switched to a subscription based model now i'll have a link below to where you can get photoshop and i'm gonna always suggest that you get the creative cloud bundle but let's get into what y'all came to see so all right so getting into what y'all came to see right so first of all learning photoshop this tutorial is going to be so easy that anybody can follow right even if this is your very first time opening photoshop right so let's get right into it all right so i i came to instagram I found somebody that we all know. This is the musician Cardi B, the rapper Cardi B. We're gonna use this and I wanna use this photo because it honestly is gonna be perfect for me to teach a beginner how to cut somebody out of a photo, right? So I've already came over here to a website called igram.io to kind of download this image. You can do it however you wanna do it. Once you get that image, I want you to open it in Photoshop, right? So in my case, I'm gonna right click it and then open with Photoshop 2023. All right, so now that we got our image loaded, I'm just gonna number one, show y'all the easiest way to do this, right? So you have your tool panel over here on the left, right? You're gonna hover over what's called the object selection tool, right? And this tool, once again, has made this process a lot easier than it used to be. But you're, you're honestly gonna select that tool. You're gonna select your subject is gonna think for a while and then boom you select that and your subject is selected right with this selection let me explain this to you for my beginners right these little these little lines basically in Photoshop means that's what you have selected there's a lot of things you can do with that selection however for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how to cut somebody out right so in a situation like this there's two ways you can do it there's the non-destructive way non-destructive basically means you can come back from it that's the way I'm, I'm always going to suggest you do it but i'm going to show you both ways so first i'm going to show you the non-destructive way you're simply going to come down here to your bottom right and you're going to go ahead and select the add a mask tool now what a mask is basically exactly what it sounds like it's masking out your background right so boom you mask that out all right and so there you have it that's technically how you cut somebody out of the background and now you have cardi b isolated now what you see here this checkered background that's always going to represent transparent pixels that's always going to represent nothing like that's clear right that's that's clear so now we have cardi b clear so Let's go ahead and control Z to reverse what we did, but leave our selection there. The destructive way to do this would honestly from here, because this is the background, hit command J or control J to duplicate that selection right now. You see over here on my layers panel, right over here at the bottom right, that now we have two layers. If I hit the I to make this background invisible, then you'll have that same thing. You'll have this, but now we have Cardi B isolated on her own layer, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit V to select this tool right here, which is the move tool, just to move her around to show y'all that she's kind of on her own right now. She's no longer a part of that background. However, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all like this. Let me control Z all the way out. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. To me, this is not a good selection, right? This isn't a good selection. You, you can't always rely on the machine to make the best selection because in all your designs, the better your cutouts are, the better your cuts are, period, the better your design's gonna look. All right, so let me go all the way backwards, right? So, all right, so now that I showed y'all the easy way, we kind of learned that the easy way isn't always the best way. And I'm gonna show you later on in this video, if you stick around, the best time to use that tool, right? Because that tool can save you some time. However, I'm gonna go ahead and explore some other other ways that I, you could cut her out of this background, right? So I'm gonna come back over here to the selection tool, but I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna hit the quick selection tool, right? And this tool kind of works the same. However, it's a little more primitive, right? This feature that I showed you at first, the object selection tool that pretty much automatically selects a person out, that is like, I think less than two years old, maybe less than a year old. So this tool was here before, right? And so what you would do is you would kind of do the same thing. You would right click once again and select quick selection tool. And what you would do is kind of drag around. And what it would do is kind of just detect 
the edges right now the reason i picked this photo is because there's a lot of contrast between cardi b in this background and what contrast pretty much means is difference right she's this background is lighter in pink and then what she's wearing her hair her clothes are either darker blue or black right so that's what i mean by contrast but once again an image like this would be easy to trace out using a tool like this because of the contrast right and once we had this selection made we would kind of do the same exact thing, right? We would come over here and do the non-destructive way of taking this background out and then boom, we've got our we've got our selection. Now, once again, this isn't the best selection, right? We want our selections to be crisp. We want our selections to be clean. We want our selections to really look good, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer mask and what I, and now what I'm about and now what I'm about to do is show y'all the very best way. It is not the easiest, but it is the best. And it actually isn't involving any of these tools, right? Because I was gonna do the magic wand tool, but honestly, it's rare that you're gonna be able to use the magic wand tool to cut an entire person out of a background because as you see, the magic wand tool selects by grabbing things similar in proximity, right? So this might grab her whole head, almost of hair, but not her lighter brown skin. Um, um, might grab the jacket I'm gonna grab the pants so that's why I'm not gonna necessarily show you that in depth right now right the tool that you're actually gonna use to make the best selections isn't actually even on the selection tool right it's a tool called the pen tool right the pen tool is really tricky for beginners and that's because right it's your when you think of it you think of it almost as you would think of the brush tool so let me show you what I mean by that I'm gonna come over here to the bottom and make a new layer and how you do that is you're gonna scroll over here to the very bottom right and where you see it say create a new layer you see kind of that box with a plus sign in it you're gonna select that and that's gonna create a new layer now you're gonna come over here to your left you're gonna go to the brush tool and now you'll have a brush selected right so you you can right click anywhere to do what I'm about to do right click anywhere and bring the size of this brush all the way down right so what 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 most people are expecting when they hear the pen tool is to be able to use it like this, literally free form, like, like you would use a pen. But however, that's not how you would use it. The pen tool is more geometry, right? And it works off of points. So let me show you, all right? So boom, you have this, I have the pen tool selected. Wherever you click, that's one point. That's where you're gonna start the point. Where you click next, it's gonna combine however however when you click don't let go don't let go slide your mouse or your cursor or whatever down and now you'll see what i mean by geometry right and these little poles i call them they are honestly help shape your selection when it comes to using the pen tool right so boom now that i've got that set i can let it go and then let's say i come over here click it again click it drag whichever way to kind of show okay boom this is how i want my selection to be and then so on and so forth right all right boom so to adjust these poles what you're going to do is hit option right and you see now you have control over what's already been done if you kind of want to adjust it and, and that'll be important later so pretty much you what you have to do honestly is do that around your subject that's how you're going to get the very best like cut out that's how you're going to get the be very best result right so i'm going to warn you this is a long process this is is a tedious process however you will get the best result right so I'm gonna go ahead and start it out for y'all I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole entire thing but I'm gonna start it out for y'all so that y'all can see exactly how it works right if you still have this layer over here just go ahead with that layer select it and hit delete and it's gone right so you're gonna do what I'm about to do over this background layer or over this layer whichever layer cardi b is on your screen right so you're gonna kind of zoom in you want to you're gonna want to have precision and i always start right at the top of their head right and i just kind of click and drag right to match her to match you know to match her head click and drag right now since it's kind of about to curve right here or at least i want to simulate that i'm going to use this right because if you hold option while you're clicking then you'll have control over the pole before you let go 
So I'm gonna bring the pole right here and then boom, it kind of gave me that curve, but I'm still clicking and dragging and I want the pole to kind of curve back out this way because I want my selection to come back out that way. And then boom, now I'm just clicking and dragging and I don't have options selected now. And I'm just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging to match the form of whatever I'm cutting out, right? So I'm about to pretty much do this to her whole body. we have her whole entire body pretty much cut out, right? So once you close, once you close that at the top, what you're gonna do is hit Command Enter, and then that's gonna make that same selection that I showed y'all earlier, right? But notice just how it's more precise, how it's more, it's more fitting, right? So we're gonna go back and do it the non-destructive way, like I told y'all, boom. We're gonna go down here to Create Mask, and then boom, now she's cut out. But notice, notice the difference in this cut, right? Notice that, it's not fuzzy on the edges, right? There's hard edges, right? There's there's hard edges. There's there's definition to it, right? So the last thing I'm gonna clean up is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use the pen tool again and I'm gonna cut out this pink. And no, honestly, this is where the magic wand tool would come into play because you would simply come here, right? And with that selected, now that you have a mask over here, I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I just want you to follow along with this mask layer selected and you'll know because these little four little lines will be uh, over it instead of the actual layer. With that active, you're simply gonna go with your brush tool and with black selected over here and just mask that out, right? And so here's actually a situation where the wand tool would work because you just needed to grab that pink. <coughs> I'm gonna come mask that out just like that as well. And then boom, we have her cut out. Now, now, now that you have her cut out, this is when you can start to do things like this, all right? So with this layer selected, I want you to hit Command J or Control J, right? And that's gonna duplicate that layer on top. I want you to come over here. I want you to right click this mask over here and then delete layer mask. And you're gonna be like, bro, we just undid everything we just did, but that's not true because Photoshop is a layer based program, right? So this layer up here, <laughs> double click the text and it's gonna ask you to rename it. We're gonna rename it top, okay? And so once again, and if you hit V or come over here and select the move tool, you'll be able to see that now, you know, this layer can move anywhere, right? So now we've kind of cut her out. But this is what this is what you mostly want to cut someone out for. I mean, honestly, if, if we're gonna do a mixtape cover, right, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna start on a white background and then design around that, then that's one way. But mostly you can start to do cool things like this. So you know what? We're gonna make it easy for you to create your first design. All right. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Google. All right, so you know what? We're gonna search for Cardi. B logo, all right? And if this has a pen transparent background, we're gonna use it, right? All right, so we're gonna take this image, we're gonna copy it, and then we're gonna paste this bad boy right in. Now, because I because it came in behind the layer, you can't see it, but remember, Photoshop is a layer-based program, right? So I'm simply gonna drag it above, and now, boom, you see it right behind her, right? And so, so if we hit V, and then hit the move tool. We see that this can go anywhere we want it. I kind of like, honestly, her putting the foot in the mouth. I'm gonna hit Command T to scale this down so you can see most of her logo. And then boom, so we got our first design. We got our first design. We learned how to cut somebody out of a background. Rico Gang, this is what I want you to do. Tag me on Instagram, make your own. If this your first design, please tag me, bro. That'll mean a lot to me. And we coming back with more graphic design tutorials. We out, let's get it.